The Mirror of Despair The bustling town of Viridia was known for its vibrant markets and cheerful inhabitants. But a shadow was about to be cast upon its streets, one that would change its very essence. A mysterious merchant arrived one day, setting up a stall in the heart of Viridia's market square. Among his peculiar wares was a beautifully ornate mirror framed with intricate silver designs. Behold the mirror of despair, he announced. Dare to gaze upon your true self. Curious townsfolk approached, drawn to the mirror's allure. One by one, they looked into it only to recoil in horror. It shows nothing but lies, cried a young man, his face pale and eyes filled with terror. As more and more people peered into the mirror, a wave of despair began to spread throughout Viridia. Laughter and joy were replaced by sobs and screams. Friends turned on each other, families were torn apart, and the once thriving town was now a place of sorrow and mistrust. What did you see? whispered Clara to her friend Lydia, who had just looked into the mirror. Lydia's voice trembled. I saw my deepest regrets, every mistake I've ever made. It was unbearable. In the midst of the chaos, an old woman named Mabel, known for her wisdom, observed the mirror from a distance. She had lived in Viridia her entire life and had never seen such a malevolent object. Approaching the merchant, she demanded, What have you brought upon this town? This mirror is cursed. The merchant smirked. It merely shows the truth. Can you handle it, old woman? Mabel, undeterred, stepped forward and gazed into the mirror. Instead of recoiling, she stared deeply, her eyes filled with determination. I see its power, she whispered, and I know how to break it. Gathering a group of townsfolk, Mabel shared her plan. The mirror feeds on our fears and regrets. We must confront them, face them head on. One by one, the brave souls stepped forward, staring into the mirror, confronting their darkest moments and emerging stronger. As they did, the mirror's hold on the town began to weaken. The atmosphere grew lighter, and hope started to return. It's working, exclaimed Clara, tears of joy streaming down her face. But the merchant, seeing his power wane, grew furious. You think you can defeat the mirror? It has seen the depths of humanity's despair. Mabel, her voice firm, replied, This town is strong. We will not be broken by your cursed mirror. The final confrontation was at hand. Mabel, drawing upon her years of knowledge, began chanting an ancient spell. The ground trembled, the skies darkened, and a powerful gust of wind surrounded the market square. The mirror, sensing its impending doom, unleashed a barrage of haunting visions, trying to break the will of the townsfolk. But Viridia stood united. Holding hands, they formed a circle around the mirror, their collective strength overpowering its malevolence. With a final, deafening crash, the mirror shattered into a million pieces, its reign of terror finally at an end. The mysterious merchant, defeated, vanished into the shadows, leaving behind only the remnants of his cursed mirror. The town of Viridia, once on the brink of despair, had emerged victorious, their bonds stronger than ever. Mabel, her energy spent, sat down, a smile on her face. Today, we faced our fears and emerged stronger. Let this be a lesson to us all. Clara approached, hugging the old woman. Thank you, Mabel. You saved us all. As night fell, the townsfolk gathered around a bonfire, the shattered pieces of the mirror burning brightly. Songs were sung, stories were shared, and Viridia celebrated its newfound freedom from the mirror of despair. But as the embers died down, a sense of unease lingered. The merchant's final words echoed in their minds. There are more mirrors where that came from. Mabel, sensing the town's apprehension, spoke up. We must remain vigilant. Evil may return, but we will be ready. And so, Viridia, once a beacon of joy, had faced the depths of despair and emerged stronger. 
Its tail became legendary, a testament to the power of unity and the human spirit. Children were told the story of the Mirror of Despair, a cautionary tale of the dangers of unchecked power and the importance of facing one's fears. The remnants of the mirror were collected and placed in a sealed vault, a reminder of the town's darkest hour and its triumphant victory. Mabel, hailed as a hero, continued to share her wisdom with the younger generations, ensuring that the lessons of the past were never forgotten. Clara, inspired by the events, became a storyteller, traveling to neighboring towns and sharing the tale of Viridia's bravery. And as for the mysterious merchant, his whereabouts remained unknown, but rumors persisted of other cursed mirrors appearing in distant lands. Viridia, forever changed by its encounter with the Mirror of Despair, stood as a beacon of hope, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of overwhelming odds. And so, the tale of the Mirror of Despair became a legend passed down through the generations, a story of courage, unity, and the indomitable human spirit. Until our next tale, remember, the darkest stories are often those left untold. Good night, and may your dreams be free of despair. The next episode, The Puppeteer's Curse, is coming soon. Stay tuned.